Hi everybody, this is Jason, the Science Outreach Manager and Life Science Educator at the Children's Museum Houston. Today I am at the Science Station at the Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center to show you how to make a galaxy in a bottle. And this is being brought to you by the Les and Mary Puckett Children's Foundation. Now, before I show you how to make a galaxy in a bottle, I'm gonna first tell you what you need to gather up, and then I'm gonna tell you what galaxies are. This is part of our five days of steam spring break, and even though this doesn't really have much to do with like the actual steam you would see coming out of a pot, it has a lot to do with science, and astronomy is one of the most popular and most important sciences because Right now, we know all about the land here on the Earth. Not much about the ocean, but about the land. And we're ready to actually step off the Earth and go even beyond the moon. We're ready to go to Mars. We're ready to go to moons around Jupiter. We're ready to go to moons around Saturn. We are explorers at heart. And knowing about our solar system, knowing about our galaxies, knowing about our universes are very important. So when you make a galaxy in a bottle, you are showing everybody that you know what a galaxy is and how they can be formed. Okay. This is what I want you to gather up. Get some cotton balls. Get some glitter. I have different colors of glitter. Get some liquid paint, like red and blue. You can use other colors if you want, but red and blue is the most typical of what we see when we take pictures of our galaxies. And then, of course, you're gonna need a bottle and have that bottle about a half to two thirds filled with water. And if you want to mix your glitter like I did, like this, go ahead and get a Dixie cup. Okay, that's all you need. It's very, very simple stuff. Now, galaxies. Galaxies are what hold solar systems. And we are a solar system. We have one medium-sized star called the sun, and all eight planets go around the sun. And all the moons around those eight planets go around the sun. And all the meteorites and asteroids and meteoroids go around the sun. And the comets go around the sun. And the dwarf planets like Pluto go around the sun. Okay, solar systems are within galaxies. So what are galaxies? They are star birthing areas or the opposite, star dying areas. Our galaxy is known as a spiral galaxy. We have, in the center of our galaxy, a super duper sized black hole. If you don't know what a black hole is, I'll give you a very, very easy definition. It is an area of the universe where the gravitational force is so strong that not even light can escape from it. So light from the sun gets sucked into a black hole, it would not be able to get out. Good thing we're not too close to the black hole in the center of our galaxy. We're about 26,000 light years away, which is really good. Now, hearing that word light year, you might want some mileage or kilometers definitions to go with that. I'll give you the mileage. And I'm gonna give you a rounded up number of the mileage. A light year is about six trillion miles. So think about that, 26,000 light years times six trillion miles is how far away we are from the center. Now, because we have that black hole in the center, we're kind of like forming out like a disc. We have a sort of disc shape. But the reason why we have these spirals, which you can see if you're ever in a very dark area, say like um, in Arizona or Antarctica, if you happen to be there someday, or in places in Africa that are really, really light deficient, which is good for astronomy, you can see the spirals of the Milky Way. Okay, you can see them here in Texas. You just have to go really far out into the country and you have to have a really, really nice um, sky to see them, but you can see it. And you'll see it looks like kind of like a cloud. And in those clouds is where all the stars are being born. So how do these spirals form? Everything spins in the universe, everything. So as the center of our galaxy is spinning, just like in a record, some parts are not necessarily spinning faster, but because they're closer, they're moving around quicker, and the one parts farther away are moving around a little bit slower because of their distance, so that creates a spiraling band of, of star formation. That's how it's created. Now, there are two other types of galaxies. There are elliptical galaxies, and there are irregular galaxies. 
Irregular galaxies are actually really easy to understand how they're formed. Our galaxy, which is called the Milky Way galaxy, is one day going to run into the closest galaxy to us, the Andromeda galaxy. We're, they're both going to collide into one another. When you have galaxy collision like that, bad chaotic things happen and things become irregular. The spirals are probably going to spin off and fly out into the rest of space. There's probably going to be explosions now and again. So you don't have this beautiful spiral shape anymore. You have this irregular shape, kind of like blotchy and spotty. Irregular galaxies, because of all the chaos they go through, will eventually die out, but it could take a long, long time. And because both of these galaxies are spiral galaxies, we might actually be able to form into one again. Our galaxy is kind of medium sized. We have about 400 billion stars in our galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy might have up to a trillion. So there's a lot of things going on that might cause us to be irregular for a while and then go back into a spiral. The elliptical galaxies are actually spiral galaxies that are starting to become old. And because they're becoming old, that disk is flattening out more and more and more. So they look more like an ellipse than they do a spiral. So when you think of elliptical galaxies, you're thinking of galaxies that are actually dying. So our solar system is roughly 14 and a half billion light years from end to end, if you can even consider it end to end. So you gotta think about, that's a big, huge distance. So there have been galaxies forming since or right after the universe began to spread out. And there's been galaxies that are forming right now. So you have dead galaxies out in space and you have galaxies right now that are new. So you might have galaxies that have 25 million to 250 million stars. You might have ones that had more than a trillion stars. But in between all those, you get these three different types. Okay. The kind of galaxy we're going to make right now with our bottle looks most more like a spiral. You can kind of see with these, these cotton balls inside, they look very spirally. Okay, they look very spirally. And you can see like there's all the glitter, like all these different star formations happening within those spirals. So to do that is really simple. You just go ahead and grab some cotton and you're going to tear it up and you're just going to go ahead and push it down inside. And you can stir it around so you can move them about. If you have a chopstick or a straw, you can use that too to push them down. I kind of like to move them around and swirl them like this. And what I'm doing right now to show you this, you can do over and over again. You don't have to do it just once. And you can add water and you can do whatever you want. So you can start to see that these um, cotton balls, they're going to start to expand because they're soaking up water. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your paint and just squirt a very little bit in, not too much. And don't really do much with it at first. Let it spread around on its own. Let it spread around on its own, okay? And then maybe add some more cotton if you want to soak up. See, that's going to soak it up. And then add some blue, okay? You're trying to avoid being purple right away. So add some blue. And you can see I'm just dropping it. I'm not squirting it hard or anything like that. And then add some more cotton balls. And I'll start to mix it around again in a second. But you can see that when we're doing it, we're also doing kind of like a formation thing. Things are slowly forming. It's not going quickly. All right. And then you probably already guessed your glitter is your stars. And add some of that. And then you can stir it around again. And you'll start to see that they'll move around. You see them spreading out? That's what you're wanting to do. And you can see down at the bottom, you got some red coming down. Okay, so just be patient with it. And what you'll notice is, is in between the colors, the cotton balls will start to look like the spirals. Okay, and like I said, do it again. Don't stop with one, keep going. And add more red if you want. One thing that you can do too, is you can actually put the, the paint onto the cotton ball itself like that 
and then put it inside and see what happens with that. And then stir it around, mix it up. See now when I added that red, I got this kind of reddish color on the top. And that's what you want to see. You want to see all these different colors forming, all these different bands forming, all that good stuff. And you can actually fill it all the way to the top. You just want to give yourself some room at first so you can get these spiral expansions happening. This spiral galaxy forming. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple and fun stuff. Even though it's fun for me to do it because I do like making galaxies and whatnot, I'd rather see the galaxies you make. So, if you make a galaxy, go ahead and take a picture of it and post it onto our uh, social media sites. We have Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Post it up. I really want to see the galaxy that you've made. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit our subscribe button. When you hit that button, you get notifications allowing you to know when other science videos are coming up, our story times, our Mr. Oh, oh Wow moments, our Tater Tot Tot tunes, all the good stuff that we do. With that, I hope you have a lot of fun making a galaxy in a bottle. I do hope you share your photos of it onto our social media sites. I hope you're doing well today, and I do hope to see you soon. Bye for now.